voice said, Ali, I got cancer, I have chemo, I lost all my hair. Ali hugged the boy, and Ali told the little boy, I'm gonna beat George Foreman, and you're gonna beat cancer. Two weeks later, Ali and I went down to see the boy, we heard he was in bad shape. And when we walked in, Ali said, I told you I'm gonna beat George Foreman, and you're gonna beat cancer. And the little boy looked Ali in the eyes, with his big blue eyes, and he said, no champ, I'm gonna meet God, and I'm gonna tell him I know you. George, you're already a professional heavyweight. What, what was the thought at that time for Cassius Clay? Were you, you know, thinking that he was a you know, meteor on the way up, or was he just in that mix? Well, he was definitely on the rise, there's no question about that. He had to retire. You know, it's amazing, even to this day, you can't look past, and nobody tells you, I'm looking right past this guy, and he's saying, I'm looking right past and this guy. And that might have been a problem. Yeah. Uh, but the bigger, I think the bigger element to jump there was that. Counted very well with a right hand over a jab throughout the course of the fight that uh, it, was a, it, was a, it was a problem for Ali during, during the fight. Pretty good scatter report a few years later, huh? That's great stuff, George. Where were you before? It's a very tough fight, again, and pay very close attention. We're going to look at it right now. First round. Okay, two, two and a half, and there it is. A good, solid punch. And just as we mentioned, pulling away from punches. About a minute to go. The reigning champ, Sonny Liston. Well, my resolutions are to become the youngest heavyweight champion in history. That's nothing new to my fans. They all know that I will be the next heavyweight champion. Uh, I will be 21 January the 17th, and I predict that by the end of 1963, I will be the youngest heavyweight champion in history, and the only...